In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the best emojis for your Discord server. We're gonna be breaking down everything from where to find them, how to make your own, making them fit the Discord criteria, and curating your collection according to your server so your members love them. That was kind of weird. Emojis make conversations way funnier and engaging than just plain text. And that's very important because the number one priority of a community server is an active chat. In your server, you will get 50 slots for each emoji category. 50 for the static ones, the ones that don't move. And 50 for the animated ones, the ones that do move that you can use with Nitro. Boosting your server will get you even more emoji slots. Here's the breakdown. I will always encourage you to make your own emojis about things like internal jokes and common topics in your server because those are the ones that people resonate with the most. But in addition to those, there are global emojis that your server just can't miss. And it's also very important to know that the emojis you have on your server will very much shape the overall vibe of it. If you have a lot of emojis with offensive stuff and like toxic messages, don't be surprised if that turns out to be the overall mood of your server. So keep that in mind. Let's move on to finding. To start off, the best place to find dope emojis are older servers. Those that over time have built up like a curated collection. A great option for this emoji finding quest will be this website, top.gg. They list a bunch of Discord servers and they categorize them by tags. So you can easily find those that focus mainly on having dope emojis. So go to top.gg and click on the Discord servers tab. Right underneath the search bar, you probably will find the tag emotes. You click on that and it will give you a list of the most popular servers servers with emojis as their main topic. If for now you're only looking for the static ones, the, the PNGs, you don't even have to join these servers. You can just click on one of them and you can take them from this list right here. Be careful with copyright though, because some servers may have made their own art and you know how crybabies copyright owners are. For the animated ones, a great option for this will be this website, giphy.com slash stickers. Here you can find a great selection of stuff. The only inconvenience that I find with stickers from here is that sometimes they're too big for Discord. Discord has like a size threshold, like the maximum that can be, and it's 250 kilobytes. So I find myself having to resize most stickers I get from Giphy all the time. To resize them, I go to this very simplistic site called gifgives.com slash resizer you can google any other of your preference i upload the gif i set the percentage to bring down the size and i'll just go down in percentage until i reach a number below 256 kilobytes making let's say you find this image that's so funny and you want to turn it into an emoji well that's easy you just need to get your image and some photo editing tool like photoshop or these two right here they're free I'm gonna find an image and I'll be doing a speed run through it because there are a ton of tutorials out there about photo editing and we're saving time here. Once you have your image edited properly, just make sure that the size is under 256 kilobytes and the format is .png because otherwise it will look like this instead of this. Curating. Once you have all the emojis in your server, I will recommend you to put them to a vote. After all, it's not only you who use them, the entire server does. I have a channel where I put server changes to a vote and that includes the emoji collection. I laid them all out in that channel and the people vote for their favorite ones. At the end of the month, the less voted get the axe and they're replaced with new emojis. You need to constantly renew your collection because they're like a different way of communication. And bringing new emojis is like bringing new words to a language that will spark a whole new range of topics to talk about in your server and keep your chat active, you know? That's your goal. And before we move to the next module, please hit the subscribe button and help me out. That concludes the emoji module in this masterclass. If you have any suggestions that might help others, feel free to leave them in the comments below and stick around for the next video in this course, which will show up on your screen right about now.